We're looking at finding forensic evidence, and we're going to use blue light right now to do so. First, I have um, Rook 450, 470. That's just the nanometers of the light. Then I have also a Hammerhead 470. These are both Fox Fury products. It's a one wavelength light, even though it has two LEDs. This is a sample from a, a police department. This is a semen, urine, blood, and saliva. As we actually go down the, this, this piece of canvas, the materials all get more dilute. So I'm going to shut the lights off because we need it to be dark. And we also need to wear uh, either goggles like I am, in this case orange, or have an uh, orange filter, in this case, on the camera like we're currently using. This is the Rook light. Now this is both wavelengths. This is 450 and 470. We'll see that as we go sort of down that it gets harder to see. See nice clean samples to start, but as we kind of move down, it gets a lot harder to see. If I go back up as well to blood and saliva, same thing. Nice green, great samples here. And then as we go down, it really get hard to see. If I get a little closer, you can maybe make it out, but not really. If I go to 450 by itself, 450 nanometers that is, you can still see it fairly well on both. And if I go to 470, you'll see that you don't see it as well. But you still can see it. Sometimes 470 is preferred to 450. And that's semen and urine on those columns, and then blood and saliva. And just before we go, I want to compare the hammerhead which is a brighter light. Here we go on full power. Again, semen and urine. As we go down, you'll see that the evidence gets more dilute, but we can still see. I can still see it down to here, but it gets kind of faint here. And then back up to blood and saliva. As you go down, still see it pretty well, pretty well. And then it gets really hard to see. And this is 1 40th and 1 80th. But in any event, that's how we use blue light when it's dark and with the right filter to see forensic evidence. Thanks.